In this video, if you have a blogger.com website or a Squarespace website, I'm going to show you how to put your article writing process on autopilot and generate thousands of SEO optimized blog posts that get indexed by Google and get you free organic traffic back to your website. We are automating our businesses as much as possible on this channel. Let's get into it. This is the auto blogger. It's a web app I'm building for you guys that helps with automation for your business. And this tool already has two important features. The auto blogger. So you set up a workflow around a bunch of chosen keywords. You can put in hundreds at a time. Choose your text model, your image model, your language. Choose your post interval. Include internal or external links in your posts. I let you choose the text prompt and the image prompt and then start a workflow that generates articles for your website on repeat all throughout the day while you sleep, while you work, while you eat. Then we have the SEO heist. What we're doing here is grabbing a blog RSS feed of your competitor and whenever they release a blog post, we catch that one, rewrite it and post it on our own website. Every time they try to get ahead with the organic traffic, we are right there with them. But say you have a Blogger or Squarespace website, how do we integrate this tool with that platform? So when you first sign up, you're gonna to go to settings and you want to input your OpenAI secret key. If you are completely new to this, OpenAI is the business that built ChatGPT. Not only can you use ChatGPT on their website, but you can also use their models in your own web applications through their official API. So from platform.openai.com, hover over the left side, we're gonna to go to API keys, then we're gonna to click to create a new secret key. I'm gonna call this blogger plus Squarespace, click create secret key. We're gonna copy that key, go back to the autoblogger.app settings page and then paste it in. Then we're gonna click the start button to test the OpenAI connection. We are testing GPT 3.5 Turbo, GPT 4, Dolly 2 and Dolly 3. And if everything goes through okay, you'll get a check mark in this button. That means the integration was a success. If you're having issues, go back to platform.openai.com. We're gonna go to settings, billing, and you're gonna have to add a valid payment method and buy some credits for the account. If this is a brand new OpenAI developer account, just buy something like $5 worth of credits they are moving from pay as you go to a credit system. This will ensure your card is valid. So top off your account, refresh the page, and then run the test again. If it's still not working, check to make sure the OpenAI APIs are up and live. Sometimes they do run into problems. It could just be bad timing on your end. But we want cheap images. That is why I also give you guys the option to integrate with Stable Diffusion 3. So we're using the Dream Studio API. I'm gonna click on this link right here. It's gonna open up beta.dreamstudio.ai slash account. And same idea here, you need to purchase credits. For Dream Studio, $10 worth of credits gives you around 5,000 images. I personally think Stable Diffusion 3 is just as good, if not better than Dolly 3, and it's 40 times cheaper. If you're gonna be generating thousands of articles for your websites, I highly recommend integrating with Dream Studio. It will save you so much on costs. After you purchase credits, you're gonna hit the plus button above API keys, click confirm, and then I have a bunch of keys here, but we're gonna copy the last one just made, click confirm again, paste it into this input box, and hit start to test the connection. Same thing, you get a check mark in the button. That means it was a success. The Autoblogger currently supports a few integrations. We have Shopify, WordPress, Webflow, and now we have Blogger. We'll talk about Squarespace in a second here, but I want you to click on the Blogger tab, and integrating with this platform is super simple. First, you need to name the integration within the Autoblogger app. I'm gonna name it the Best Fitness Blog website, and then we have to find our blog ID. When you log into your Blogger dashboard, the blog ID is the last part of the URL. It's this number right here. For me, it's a 19 digit number, and I'm gonna copy that, go over to my settings and paste it in this input box. 
Then we can click start to authorize this web app with your blogger website. You're going to see one of these Google OAuth consent screens. Click continue. And if everything integrates successfully, it's going to clear these two input boxes and then add your blogger website down here. Now I added one previously. You can add as many as you want. Just make sure you choose the same Google account that owns your blogger website. You are authorizing your Google account and everything that is owned under it. You can't have a mismatch there. The good thing about Blogger is these websites are completely free, which means you can start generating articles on autopilot today, whether you have a website or not. It's also a good home for your blogs if you choose to do a manual import later. Let's say you have a website platform that we don't currently offer an integration for, maybe something like Framer or Wix. You can generate hundreds of articles to your blogger website and then manually import them later. If it's your first time on this app, then click the subscription tab and then subscribe to the auto blogger. The auto blogger is $9 per month. I'm trying to make this the most affordable AI tool on the net. My plan is to offer as much value as possible for your business because I believe that everyone should have access to these important AI tools. All right, we're all set up and ready to go. Now we can start using the auto blogger. On the auto blogger tab, you're going to select your website. By default, the last one added is pre-selected. This is my blogger website. We are going to choose our text model. We have two options, the newest GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-3.5 Turbo. I'm gonna stick with GPT-4 Turbo. We get to select our image model. We have Dolly 2, Dolly 3, Stable Diffusion 3, or no image generated. I'm gonna use Stable Diffusion 3. We get to select our language. We have a bunch of options to choose from. Soon I'm gonna make this an input box so you can add any language that you desire. For now, please write in the comments below if there is a language missing, but I'm gonna use English. We get to choose our post interval. This is in hours, so if I wrote six, that means it would generate a new AI article every six hours. I could also toggle random, which means it will randomize your post interval anywhere between one and 24 hours. This is a good feature if you want your blog posting schedule to look more normal. We can add a link URL and a link text to the end of the blog post. So let's say I want to link back to ESPN.com and I wanted the link text to be hyperlinked. I could write something like check out the latest sports scores and then this text would be hyperlinked back to this website. Use it for internal linking, external linking, or affiliate links. With the auto blogger, you have full control over the output. By default, this is what I have being sent for each article. A lot of the website integrations use HTML format, so I make sure to stress it in my text prompt. You can add some text to humanize your output. You can change the style, the tone, the formats. Play around with this until you get an output that you want. I also give you the option to change the image prompt. If you don't like words on your images, you can keep this default prompt. It makes things nice and colorful, illustrations. If you don't want an illustration, you can write something like photorealism and you'll get something less cartoony. I'm gonna keep it on illustration. And then last but not least, you're gonna add your keyword list. If you have a large keyword list of 100 plus keywords, you need to separate them by a comma and then paste them into this box. I'm gonna write a few keywords here. Let's go banana and we'll go apple, maybe mango, and then how about a pear? A bunch of fruit articles. And then if I like all my settings, I can click generate posts. And if everything went through okay, you're gonna get a notification that says the AI articles have been scheduled. Please check your blogger website to see the results. I'm gonna click okay. It's going to refresh the page. And now if I go to workflows, we see my latest workflow. I can click on the info button and see our four keywords, the text prompt we use, the image prompt, the interval that we've chosen, the image model, the text model, the website, and our workflow ID. Over in our blogger website, we can see the first two posts generated to our website. The first one was on the keyword bananas and it wrote the benefits of bananas, a nutritional overview. And then the second one was about apples, exploring the nutritional benefits of apples. I'm gonna click on the bananas one. We have an image, we got the title, and then we have a full blog post 
automatically generated by AI. And this article has been SEO optimized around the keyword bananas. Let's check out the Apple one. Love it. I love the image they generated for the Apple's keyword. And then this is the full article. But let's say you have a Squarespace website. How do we automatically generate AI articles over there? Well, unfortunately, Squarespace doesn't have an official blog post API. But there is a small workaround, and it's the reason we use Blogger for the integration. So on your Squarespace website, if you click on Settings, and then scroll all the way down to Import and Export Content, it gives you an option to import from your Blogger website. So I'm going to click this. Now it wants a Blogspot URL. That's the same as Blogger. So if I go back to the dashboard, I'm going to scroll down, click View Blog. It wants us to grab this first part of the URL. So I'm going to copy, go back into Squarespace, paste it in, and then click Begin Import. There we go. It says Import Complete. It was a success. And then now if I close this, go to Websites, and after refreshing the page, you now see my Blogger website down here under Not Linked. So I can click on this, see the two blog posts that it has imported. I can also click on blog content and click on each of them. There we go. There's our image. There's the title and there is our article. If I go on its settings, I can enable the page, change the URL slug, click save. And now it's published live on our website. I can change the theme, the format, make it look better and also link it in the header bar above. If you want to use the autoblogger for yourself, head on over to autoblogger.app. A link is going to be in the description below. If you want to learn how to build a tool just like the autoblogger for yourself and for your business, I also have an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. I teach you everything I know about building an app in Bubble. I'm also going to drop a link in the description. Check out this page, view the syllabus, see all of the modules and what we have to offer. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. So give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.